Good morning, this is Deb, and I'm here to give you some ideas uh, and a project. Uh, the ideas are for your idea book, things I've been playing around with this week. Um, you know, it's getting to be graduation time, plus, you know, we've got a lot of birthdays and things in our uh, family. And so, you know, I'm thinking what kind of cute things that I can make that are different. And, um, so one of the things I thought was I could make some bookmarks. My grandkids are readers. There's no doubt about it. And so once I got started making some bookmarks, I was like, Hmm, why do they have to be same old, same old? So let me show you this, this first one that I've done. Um, and it is on um, double-sided, uh, or did I double-side this? I did not. This is not double-sided. It is one um, image that I cut in half so that I could use uh, the samples. This was These were samples of Pueblo prints. And uh, so I thought, well, this would make a cute... Um, bookmark for someone who does sewing either you know clothing or whatever so I attached uh, this ribbon I cut some buttons out these are not these are paper buttons they're not real buttons put her on there and then I made I don't know if you've seen these really cute little um, pin cushions that's got a, a um, wooden base but I thought, wouldn't that look cute on there? So I put that on there. And then it can go inside of her sewing book or, you know, whatever the case may be. I also made this one for a um, someone who cooks for them to put in their uh, recipe book. And I'm going to move this up. Well, maybe it's better like this. Okay, so you can see the whole thing. Let me move my thing up a little bit. A camera there we go that's a little better and so I had these um, measurements that I thought well I could put those on here here's a pocket I cut it to look like a jar since these were jars rounded the corner did some sewing so that would make a cute uh, bookmark for someone to put in their uh, cookbook Here's one that I thought would be cute for my grandkids. It's got little note um, because my my one gr granddaughter she takes notes and all other kinds of things, and uh, so I thought, well, that would be cute. So it's just a basic double sided piece of paper, folded the top over, and um, put the paper pad in there, and then it doesn't have any pockets or anything like that on there but then I kind of got to thinking what if I used a flash card so I had these flash cards so I decorated this flash card up and I and and uh, I thought that turned out really cute kind of with a school theme and uh, I thought that turned out cute here's another sewing one this is on a time card so initially I was going to kind of make it kind of manly but you know <laughs> I'm challenged when it comes to manly stuff, so I added a lady on there. <laughs> and uh, so I did, th so this is on a postcard. This one is on a Walgreens bag uh, that I got from the pharmacy. And I thought, well, it could be a post or a, a uh, bookmark in a um, recipe book and then you know when maybe you've got your own recipes you just want to stick them in there for now and then you can add them to your recipe book later or whatever anyway so those are just some things that I have been playing with I thought maybe I'd show those to you and uh, if you like those those are ideas that you can put into your idea book okay so uh, as I had mentioned I'm in the process of making lots of cards and graduation things and this kind of stuff so this is a project that I had in uh, that I have in my idea book and I thought that I would make more of these and so I thought well I can show you this so <clears throat> let me tell you how to cut this so this is what it looks like I'll show you what it looks like first you open it up 
there's a tuck here. This flips out. Pocket. And a little notepad here. Now, you wouldn't have to put a notepad here. You could also put a pocket here. Uh, there's a pocket here on this side. And I also wanted to show you that I had made um, what I am calling a fabric sample just to put into your pocket. It doesn't serve any purpose other than to look pretty. And so, as you can see, it's on book page. I just took scraps of paper, uh, zigzagged it to the top, and uh, I... I, add, I added a little hunk of lace on there first, zigzagged it to the top, and then added a, um, um, whatchamacallit, one of those deals, eyelet. And um, so that's, so this is what I'm going to show you how to make today. So I'm calling this a folio. I make a lot of folios, as you know. So this main folio... This main folio, this is the way I made it. Two sheets of single-sided paper. And they are cut eight and a half wide by five and a half tall. And then, obviously, score and fold in the middle. And then you're going to have a front and a back. So... Um, this left pocket is, uh, let me back up here and show you. So this is my two, um, single side sheets of paper, eight and a half wide, five and a half tall, scored and folded in the middle, middle rounded corners. The pocket, the left pocket is four wide by one and three quarters tall. Now, this is the way I made it. You can make it any way that you want. If you want it taller, if you want to tear your edge, which some of my edges I did tear, um, you just want to make sure that however wide you make it, that you don't get tangled up in this um fold because then it'll make your pocket winky and it won't close well. So you don't want to make it as wide as the this half, if that makes sense. Okay, so the notepad is three and seven eighths wide by five tall. That's this part. The paper is three and five eighths wide and four and seven eighths tall. You just want it, as you can see here, you just want it to be a little bit smaller than your backing, okay? And this does not have to be double-sided because it's glued down, or mine is. Again, here, if you would ha rather have a pocket, you could. Or you could have a pocket and this flippy thing because it's only glued at the top and it'll flip up. Okay, so that's where we're at on that. This side flip, I used music paper, but you don't have to use music paper as long as it's double-sided because as you can see, you're going to be able to see both sides because it's flippy. Okay, so you're going to cut this to five wide, seven tall. You're going to score it at one inch on the left and at four and a half from the bottom. And then this little piece right here, you're going to cut that part off.
and then it'll look like this when you're done because this pocket is going to go up you might want to trim this part off a little bit too again so that it's not all caught up in that fold because what's going to happen is now you are going to take this one inch and you're going to put it between these two layers and you're going to glue that in it doesn't matter if it's the front if you glue it to the front piece the back piece or both pieces okay so you're going to glue it in so that it's centered wherever it is that you want it you're going to glue that in and then once it's dry then you are going to sew all the way around this main folio and then I had also sewed and you would want to do this before you put it inside like that before you glued it in but I also sewed here you don't have to do that if you don't want to and you don't have to sew around here if you don't have machine just glue or if you don't like the way that sewing looks just use glue and then that's then it'll look like this you'll open it up this flips open you'll see this You'll see the pocket. And then on the back side of this flippy is where I have the tuck. You don't have to put a tuck. You can put a pocket. You don't have to put anything. You can just decorate it. But one of the things that I do is, and that's what this is, whenever I'm cutting my paper or as I, you know, collect all my stuff, I put it into one project tub so that I can pull things out and use them so that they're all matching. So this little piece of paper, I just pulled it out of here and just cut it. This little hunk right here was something that I had cut off from the top of one of the other pieces. So, and when I go to decorate, all these pieces will really come in handy. So, but back to this flippy thing, because this came out of my... Um, my scraps I am going to do it like this I'm gonna have instead of it being because this is one of the elements that I had in my stash and uh, so it's straight and all that this one's going to be um, torn like that and then on this project, I probably will ink the edges, or at least some of the edges. I may not use the gathered twigs. I may use a blue. Um, but I will most probably ink the edges. So, and from here, you can decorate. Do all your decorating. So as you can see from here, I put a uh, ribbon and a little doohickey there, and this is a, a vintage um, linen element that I had cut out. This little guy over here, you can see how I decorated. There's a little piece of uh, I got player. I've got a big roll of player piano music. And a little hunk of that and some some bling and some washi tape and uh, kind of a little collage on this pocket there's that put a little piece of washi tape on there some uh, this is avocado dyed um, cheesecloth that I made last summer and then just a variety of other little things. And summer's coming again, so that's a good time to start dyeing your paper or 
you know, doing those kind of outdoor things that are better when they are, um, when they can hang outside to dry. So that is the project that I am here to show you the ideas for your um, idea book and uh, I think that's everything that I'm here to share with you oh and these um, these notes I will put them on the uh, Facebook group so that you'll have those. Uh, that face, the Facebook group is the Art of Journal Making and Paper Crafting. If you'd like to go over there, we've got some things in the um, the the file, some um, interesting things in the file that you may be interested in, and you're certainly welcome to join us. We are a fun group, and we've got lots of good ideas. The members have got wonderful ideas and do all kinds of things. So we invite you to come over there and take a look at what we have for you over there. And uh, I hope that you enjoy making this project. And I'll talk to you again. So this is Deb signing off. See ya.